Hey everybody, it's Brian. Today's project, we are going to mix up some Fomafix Fixer for developing film. Not paper, that's important. If you look on the box of Fomafix, it says for 0.75 slash 1 liter. So it's 750 milliliters uh, if you're developing film, 1 liter if you're developing paper. So we're developing film, or I'm going to be developing film with this fixer, so I'm going to be making 750 milliliters of solution, uh, or of stock solution. Well, actually, no, of solution. There's no stock solution with fixer, excuse me. Um, all right, so let's open up the box and see what we got. And inside the box, we have one big envelope, which is labeled Fomafix P, one liter. And we have another lay of box, which is all, well, another, excuse me, another um, bag, which is also labeled Fomafix P, one liter, fine. Um, now, the directions are inside the box. And I'm sure you can't read them on the video, so I'll read them for you. They're right here in English. And they appear in, I assume that's Czech. No clue what that is. Uh, let's see here, English, and I assume that's Russian. Okay, so the instructions, at least the ones in English, say, dissolve bigger bag in 600 milliliters of water at first, and then the smaller bag. After the full dissolution, make up to volume. A, 0.75 liters for film, B, 1 liter for paper. Um, and that's it. Those are all the instructions you get. Okay, so it says first, let me say with big bag or little bag. Move that fur, we did a dissolve big bag first. First the big bag, then the small bag. Okay, sounds simple enough. So now I'm going to take. My graduate. All right, here's, here's the beaker I'm using, uh, which is simply a flower vase I found on special the other day. It works just fine. Um, and here's my graduated cylinder. And you'll notice I need 600 milliliters of hot water, uh, but the graduated cylinder only goes up to 500, so I'm just going to do uh, 300 milliliters twice. Um, and I'm going to double check the temperature of my water. I checked it a second ago, make sure it's hot enough, and it is. Water should be, say, hold on a second. Actually, hold on a second. These instructions actually don't say you have to use hot water. Dissolve bigger bag in 600 milliliters of water. And then the small, I never noticed that. I assumed it had to be hot water. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use hot water anyway. Because <laughs> if you're dissolving stuff, it's better to use hot water than, than uh, water that's not hot. So that's what we're going to do. The, um, all right, so the water coming out of my tap is about 45 degrees centigrade or about 110 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That should be plenty hot for developing, or excuse me, for mixing up some powdered uh, fixtures. Uh, 300, that's pretty close. That's good enough. Pour 300 milliliters of hot water. Yeah, let's see here. It's a bit much. Pour off some. Let's see. Just a wee bit shy. That should do. That's about right. So 300 and 300. All right. I got 600 milliliters of hot water. And the big bag. A big bag of stuff, of crystals. And I'm going to take the big bag and just pour it in. Now I take my very scientific chopstick and mix up, let's see, 
and mix up the large bag into solution. These are big chunky rocks of crystals. I can hear them crunching around in there and you can actually feel it dissolve as you stir. I want to make sure bag number one is completely dissolved before I pour in bag number two. feeling anything crunchy down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see some powder sort of swirling around down there a little bit. But not a whole lot. And um, there's almost always a little bit of powder residue left at the bottom that you have to decant off when you pour it into your storage, um, storage container. Um, but I'm going to say that this is pretty well dissolved. I think it's certainly dissolved well enough for bag number two. All right. So that's all down at the bottom. And we got, let's put this over here, bag number two. some along the sides here. Okay. I've got some powder along the sides here, so I want to tip the solution, make sure that make sure that's in there. Okay. Keep on going. I can see some chunks of something down at the bottom. But again, like I said, there's always a small trace amount of powder that does not fully dissolve. And that is nothing to worry about. I've never mixed a powder chemical where I was where I was left without any powder residue. There's always a little bit in there. And as long as it's here we go. There's a, little, there's a little crystal right there. Here we go. There's a crystal right there. Wow, it's a big one. Let's see if I can crush that. Yeah. That's a rock. Look at that thing. Alright, let's see if I can crush that rock. Not going. Okay. Well, basically, I've just got a couple of little flakes down there at the bottom. I don't want to dissolve, and that's really not a big deal. Okay, so I've got 600 milliliters of solution right here. I need to bring this up to uh, 750. I'm not going to do it in, um, in the beaker. I'll just do it in the storage container. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is take... I need 150 milliliters of water, it doesn't have to be hot. And it's going to be a little much. There we go, 150, excellent, okay. So, I got 150 milliliters of water. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can move the camera up a little bit. So 
you can see what we're doing. In fact, let's see, it's a little better. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, call that close enough. All righty. 150 milliliters of water. Now, 600 milliliters from my solution that I just mixed. And as I get to the end, as I'm pouring it off, I'm going to be mindful of the last few cc's. I'm going to watch for those little grainy flakes, make sure they do not get into my solution. And so far so good, and all right, not bad, not bad. I have maybe a few, a couple cc's left over with a few little flakes, um, and I'm just going to toss this out. Not a problem. Down the drain it goes. And uh, funnel there, okay. And I now have 750 milliliters of fixer, uh, which is fine because my developing tank does not take more than 750 milliliters. In fact, I think it maxes out at about 600. So um, that's plenty of fixer for film for me, the way I develop anyway, uh, in, a, in a standard Patterson tank for 35 millimeter, 750 milliliters of uh, fixer is plenty. In fact, it's a little more than you need. Um, all right, well, that's about it. That's all there is to it. We just made some fixer. Um, you should let this get to room temperature if you can before you use it. You don't want to shock your, the system by uh, um, dipping the film from, uh, or by pouring you know, hot water than cold water onto the film, or hot solutions and cold solutions onto the film. You want your chemicals to be as close to the same temperature as reasonably possible. Um, developer is critical, the other chemicals not so much, but nonetheless, um, I don't want my fixer too much above room temperature. Uh, when I go to develop film. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably, you know, you know it's, it's nice and warm, so sit for as long as it takes. Uh, get it down as close to room temperature as you can before you use it. Um, alrighty, and that's all there is to it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye-bye.